Hey guys, for is uh, showing you here pretty quick a cool new concept made by Taysac and uh, it is on a brand new uh, Windows Phone 7 device uh, being called, this is the name he had picked, the Nokia Lumia 1000 and we do know that we have the Nokia Lumia 800 and we have the Nokia Lumia 900 launching here pretty soon in the States with uh, I mean the big difference between that one and the, the 800 is that it's gonna have a 4.3 inch screen the other one is a little bit closer to the iPhone 4s uh, but a slightly bigger than that like 3.7 inch so uh, Nokia Lumia 1000 we're probably gonna see one of those devices coming out on the market uh, and and we do know that Nokia is fully working on Windows Phone at the moment and uh, been uh, releasing phones with their Windows Phone 7. Point 0.5 and we do know at least what I've heard is that the new uh, we do know that uh, Microsoft has their new Windows 8 tablets coming out so wh what I've been seeing in comments is that they, yeah, I mean of course they can't have like uh, okay they can but it sounds weird if they would have Windows Phone 7 on their smartphones and Windows 8 on their tablets so they're probably gonna change name to Windows 8 uh, or Windows Phone 8 or something like that on their smartphones as well so that's what this concept is running on with the full QWERTY keyboard at the bottom so you can slide it out uh, and also kind of fun here that he has picked a dual core processor an Intel Atom 1 uh, C2580 so you'll probably be able to run the, f the full Windows 8 experience oh yeah 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 the full Windows 8 experience so it would be the same Windows 8 as you would have on 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 a laptop yeah or on a, it's a desktop computer okay that's kind of cool uh, so uh, as I said they're into Atom C2580 processor and uh, just because it needs to be running Windows 8 uh, a dual core one 1.8 gigahertz and also the GPU is kind of interesting here they picked the, the PowerVR SGX544 MP2 that's better than in in the current iPad 2 I'm not quite sure uh, versus the new quad core GPU in the the new iPad or the third generation iPad uh, but uh, it's uh, MP2 so that means it's like dual core and uh, GPU 533 megahertz uh, also uh, the display here may be kind of weird resolution 2040 uh, 1024 times uh, 768 I would at least think that they would go to 720p display uh, on you know full 1280 720p display here but it's a 4.3 inch which I may do believe that it's a little bit small to run the full Windows 8 experience but of course Windows 8 will have that tall UI experience also built in also you can see that they have picked this uh, new pure view camera as we saw Nokia unveil on one of their I think it was called 808 uh, smartphone and they were saying that the, this new 41 megapixel camera would come in the future uh, Windows Phone 7 devices from them so that's what they picked here on the back I'm not quite sure why you would need a 41 megapixel pure view camera or what it's basically for but it sounds pretty cool uh, but also have another camera there uh, a 30 frames per second camera uh, on the front I'm not sure 1080p like the guys next to us or 720p, I don't know. Uh, but also comes with some other interesting technologies here, USB 3.0, NFC. Uh, what I think is most interesting here is the design. It really looks like a Nokia phone. It really looks badass, and uh, that that's running in the full Windows 8 experience, and it has uh, three capacity touch buttons down uh, on the front. I really think that that's uh, that, that, that this could be, I mean, a future phone. Um, and the thing, though, uh, I'm kind of skeptical to or two is uh, that that uh, real QWERTY keyboard. I really do feel that like QWERTY keyboards feel a lot like 2010. I had an LG phone from 2010. Could have been for 2011 as well. A low-end uh, LG device running like Android 1.6. It was really sucky and. Um, I, I just don't like QWERTY keyboards, but I do know that a lot of people are used to them, like BlackBerry users and a lot of business people. But I think in the long run that we will all be starting to go over to uh, on-screen keyboards. But then also we need the display to be bigger, like 4.7, 4.8. 4.8 that's probably going to be the Samsung Galaxy S3 with the ceramic design 
that's gonna be awesome and also this phone looks uh, a little bit fat but you know how usually business phones are and they have a dedicated camera button and also a lock button on the right side yeah it looks badass and I love to make concept videos I made a very very successful video in January a concept so obviously people want to see these things and that's why I'm doing it and I think it's awesome so that's also one of the reasons why I'm doing it yeah Nokia Lumia 1000